Kal Halal, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Racha Kodash. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. That's the men that taught us this truth. Peace and blessing to all you brothers out there that are doing the work in truth and in sincerity who are of the hopeful elect. Uh, Shalom, you know, to the one third. Uh, also to the Israelites that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Um, that may speak the other languages and look like the other nations, but are actually Israelites, you know, that are, you know, waking up to this, to this truth. I want to go into, um, uh, this scripture right here, James chapter one, verse 21. Uh, this scripture had got brought out last night, uh, at class, class that we had. And, uh, it's a real good scripture, man. As, as all the scriptures are, uh, are good, you know? But this scripture was like a um, was a highlight scripture that had actually came out, and uh, you know I want to go into it, and and Lord willing, it uh it brings some uh, edification to to one of the elect members out there, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into to the scriptures. I'm also gonna pull uh pull some of the words the words uh in the blue letter and get the meaning get the meaning on them, you know, so this is, uh, and this is a, this is a basic scripture, but it's a powerful scripture, because it's talking about salvation, so this is James chapter 1, verse 21, it reads, wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, uh, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls, so these scriptures, you know, the understanding of them and applying them, it can save you, you know, if you're an Israelite and if you're of the elect, you know, and the elect, you know, it's the, the 144,000, the one third and also the, the, uh, the scattered Israelites, uh, we here in Great Millstone, we call them the, the, the confusion of faces the confusion of faces out there um, that are Israelites that speak different languages and they uh, they may look like the other nations, but they're actually uh, Israelites. If you, if you, uh, you know, if the most high open up your understanding to the, to this word and you get into this, to the engrafted word and you uh, apply it, you live it, Meaning, if you live it, mean that means you have faith in it. Because there's a lot of guys that can break down scriptures and they know a lot of information. Um, they may speak well. They may have a great delivery when they go out and speak or when they put up lessons. But they don't apply what's written. You know, they don't uh, deal with the, the brothers and the, deal with, uh, the right way in the brotherhood, man. You know, they still deal like a nigga in the, in the world, you know? So let's go in. Well, I'm going to read that again, this scripture, and then we're going to pull some words and get the the uh, the meaning or the, the definition of them. So it reads, uh, Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your your souls. So this is serious. This is serious business, man, because we looking to get delivered up out of here. And you should, too. Whether you be here in, in America or you be scattered across the four corners of the, of the globe in these different countries, uh, you know, you should be looking for salvation, man, because the earth. The earth is under the vibration of Esau for the most part. You know, this man has spread his uh, his philosophy all over the planet globe, you know, he didn't, he didn't spread his philosophy all over the, all, all over the world. And, uh, he's, he's oppressing the world. This man is oppressing the whole globe, man. Really the, the whole earth, you know, the, the, uh, the trees, the water, it, the elements is the title is, is it, uh, of this devil ruling, man. So you should be looking for salvation, man. And this, this word, uh, is able to say save you, man. You got to come up out of that old man. You got to become uh born uh of of this truth. 
born of the spirit or so you can understand um born again you know how the scriptures talk about we must be born again you must be born uh of this truth uh, you have your spiritual birth which is you birth uh from the truth you know and uh verse 18 actually says that real quick i'll get that because verse 8 james 1 and 18 it says it it says of his own will begot he us with the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures you know so you got to be born the most high begat the elect uh, with the word of truth you know all right so let's get this word get the word filthiness in the greek okay Let's see something. All right. We let Esau pronounce this word. Strong's G, 4507. Hruparia. Hruparia. Okay. So it says, uh, to make filthy, befile, to defile, dishonor to make filthy all these are the characteristics that we uh would have had before we come into this truth because there's there's no gray area you know if you if you're not in this truth then this apply to you are filthy you are befiled uh you are defiled uh you really have no true honor so you dis uh Basically, you're doing things that are that are show that you're dishonorable, and uh, just and in the last one it says to make uh, filthy. Uh, we was eating, <clears throat> you know, we ate the different uh, abominations. We wasn't following the, the dietary laws of the Most High. You know, we didn't know nothing about the high holy days. We were keeping these wicked pagan holidays. You know. Um, like Christmas, Christmas is coming up. You know that's that's a wicked, uh, abominable, so-called holiday. You know, you know we were uh, we were not following the law, statutes, and commandments, man. So we were living a, a life of disorder, dishonor. We were uh, filthy. You know. All right. So that's for the word filthy. And then this is a good word right here. You know, and and the scriptures say lay apart, meaning separate yourself, get away from these things, you know, filthiness, superfluity. It says superfluity of, of naughtiness. And we're going to get into this word. Strong's G 4050. Perisaiah. Perisaya. Right. So that's for the word superfluity in James chapter one, verse one. And it reads, uh, or the definition. It says abundance, uh, super abundantly, super fluid, fluously, su superiority, uh, pr preference, preeminence, gain, profits, profit, residue, remains. Uh, the wicked, the wickedness remaining over in a Christian from uh, his state prior to conversation. <laughs> so that's that's a good. Uh, they gave some good, good definitions. Um, the word I want to go into is the word preeminence, and I, God, I believe I got it. I have it already here. Uh, I'm going to pull it up real, real quick. Okay, so this is for the word uh, preeminence. Get the word preeminence right here.
All right, so it says, uh, from late Latin, uh, pray emanitia. I'm probably saying it wrong. Hard word for me to pronounce. It's, uh, it says, distinction, superiority, from Latin, uh, pray emanatum, uh, nominative, uh, nominative, uh, pray Eminem, uh, em, eminems, and I'm probably saying the word wrong. It's you know hard to, for me to pronounce that word. Uh, it says present uh, participle uh, of pray eminere, and then it says uh, transcend, excel, literally uh, project for a uh, project forward, uh, rise above from pray. So this is a compound word. It's a compound word. So this is this is the key part of this uh, word. It's a compound word. It says from pre, which means before, or pre, which means before, and then emanere, which means to stand out. So I'm gonna go back to the scriptures. I'm gonna uh, we're going for for preeminence. It means to stand uh to stand out before. So let's go back to the scriptures. Let's see where we at. Okay. Go back up. 